What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and this is my good friend, E. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, an overview of a new niche house from New York City called Kieran NYC. Keep it right there, and we'll tell you all about it. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover So what's good, my brother? Everything's cool, Carlos. Can't complain. What's Working hard as always, right? Yeah, yeah, man. A little too hard, but Same it is here. what it is. <laughs> I just had my company holiday party okay, tonight, cool. and then I met up with you afterwards, and we're going to go over this house. Yes. Have you heard about this house? Not one thing. So I'm turning you on to this for the first yes. time. Never heard of this brand before, so yeah. So it's a new brand called Kieran NYC. They have four fragrances out. So how I got hooked up with them was that they saw a video that I did for Scentbird, okay. and one of their fragrances was featured on it. I think it was uh, Sunday Brunch, mm -hmm. this one right here. Mm -hmm. They liked what I did, and they reached out to me and asked if I'd like to review the rest of the brand. And nice. I, of course, said yes, and uh, said I'd love to do it with my friend E, and here we are, doing nice. it. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what this brand is doing, because I've never heard of them, but the look is pretty cool. Like, this look is definitely, look. it looks... What's the word? It looks... You, you said it, it looks <laughs> like some money went into this. Yes, for sure. Finance, so you said. Yes, it looks like invested in. <laughs> so a quick presentation is, here's the box. There are 50 mil bottles, all of them. Mm -hmm. You open it inside, and then it's red like that with the uh, black and white stuff and the bottle sits inside there and they have little sayings here like text type messages really cool their whole concept is it's very new york each mm -hmm. fragrance has a new york based story mm -hmm. and i won't go into that but you can go on their website and check them out it's a really well done website too and very like i would say like social media tech like focused also with the little like you know emojis and for sure like, for sure messages and yeah so the box has a image on the front which matches the image on the bottle on the back are the notes and the perfumer and a little info on each fragrance oh yeah like oh so like according to the website they are really into like cruelty free you know no parabens no sulfates no GMOs, you know, that sort of thing. And I would I, I would assume they don't animal test as well. And also recycling of... Yeah, they're very green. Like, I guess that would be the, the sum of it. You know, they're very, like, green conscious. Which is a and, good thing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially if you're going to try to sell to, like, millennials. If you're trying to sell to millennials, you definitely want, like, a purposeful message. Absolutely. I mean? For sure. So why don't we start on your end? Go cool. cool. You'll spray it. I'll read what this is. So, the, I guess this fragrance is called 10 a.m. Flirt. It's called 10 a.m. Flirt. Which is pretty interesting. There's a graphic for that one. It features gardenia, fig, cashmere wood, and the vibe is fresh, flirty, and magnetic. Ah, I like this. I like fig fragrances. Um, love fig fragrances. You actually. do? I've noticed that. Yeah, they're, when they're done right, they're done so, so right. Um, this is done very well, too. It's very, very fresh, as they mentioned. Very slightly green, but not too green. The gardenia is not overpowering right. or too feminine right. because gardenia can definitely be Annoying a very feminine floral. white flo <laughs> floral. But this is nice. I really appreciate it. It's very fun. It's also happy. It's got the fig, the fruitiness of the fig. It's got the floral, but not too much. Mm -hmm. And then it's grounded by a nice, subtle, woody, woody nope. accord. Yeah. Definitely works. And very nice yeah i would agree i pretty much i would buy this and you'd wear this huh? i would definitely wear this as a fan of fig this is definitely a good one yeah all right so good marks on the first one there sure up next we have santal sky here is the graphic for that you can go ahead and spray it santal sky let's see what this is going it's to got do. saffron sandalwood and vetiver the Ooh. vibe is warm intimate and serene Okay. 
Okay. Okay. I'm getting a little. This smells very sandalwoody. Um, it's a very dry sandalwood. Um, not the most creamy sandalwood in the world. Definitely reminds me of another fragrance by another brand. We would be doing an injustice if we didn't say that it smells like Psalm 33. Yes. But that being said, this is not quite as bright as Psalm 33. Loud. It's nowhere near as loud either. It's very. Psalm 33 is very bright and piercing and. Um, it's just real bright. This is a little darker. Yes, that Santal 33 signature note is there, but for sure. it's a little darker here. And then it's fresh with the vetiver. Yeah, I think the vetiver also makes it a little dark too, because there's a little, um, it's like a dirty green that's coming from the vetiver. But definitely nice. Yeah. They're all nice, to be honest. I'll let you know that from now. But if you're a fan of Santal 33, this might be something that you might enjoy hell yeah for the price um i was just about to say yeah. that 78 dollars for 50 mil bottles the whole collection absolutely so if like if you want that scent without being abrasive and like obnoxious this might be a great alternative <laughs> i didn't realize that sound 33 is so loud it and i've oversprayed so loud. this one you can go a little heavy on the trigger I mean, if a brand is definitely trying to like conjure up smells of New York, I guess this is fitting because Santal 33 <laughs> is like the scent of Manhattan in my For opinion. sure, for sure. <laughs> so far, so good. I would have say so. Like, I'm really impressed so far. The first half of the line definitely scents that I would mind having in my own collection. And we've got only two more to go, so? For sure. And the next one. And the next one is called Nitro Noir. You'll spray, please. Nitro Here's the graphic. Or... It's a little purpley. I, you guys know I love purple. This contains Italian bergamot, pink berries, and patchouli. The vibe is intoxicating, hypnotic, and sensual. This is interesting. I'm almost getting an irisy thing going on in this fragrance, and yet there isn't any in the fragrance. The berries are a little bright. The bergamot is fruity. It's a fruity citrus. Mm -hmm. And the patchouli keeps it not being so fruity and uh, feminine. Right. Because this is veering just a little feminine. Yeah, I would agree. But the patchouli mans it up just a bit. Or yeah. just enough. Yeah, enough to make it unisex. But I would definitely say it veers in the prettier range. <laughs> we did a lot of testing of other things before we did this, and he's used the word pretty all night long. I yeah. think he's feeling the word pretty tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that this is so pretty. I think definitely a guy could wear this. By the way, these are all unisex. They're not men or women. Mm -hmm. These are all considered unisex. I can see a guy wearing it. It's not like um, something a guy couldn't do, you know? Of course a man could wear that. That's pleasant. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the brightness and fruitiness of the the first notes and then with a bit of patchouli, but not a heavy hand of patchouli. Right, it's not like a dirty, earthy, earthy no. patchouli. I kind of like those dirty, earthy patchouli though, I cannot lie. Um, yeah, but I, I'm, I really enjoy this though. I would love to smell this on a woman's skin though, but I think it smells great. We're gonna four, three, two, one by the end, okay? Okay, cool. And we both will have different opinions, I'm sure. For sure. And last up, we have Sunday Brunch. If you'd be so kind to spray, my friend. Sunday Brunch. I'm looking forward to this one. Here's the graphic for that one. This contains Italian bergamot, lemon, Earl Grey tea, and the vibe is cheerful, energetic, and luminous. Oh. Well, did he just grunt? I really In a like good way? One. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I'm a fan of tea fragrances, guys. I mean, if you haven't paid attention, I mean, um, tea is awesome to me. I wasn't, or I didn't know that I was, but I love tea fragrances. Yeah, man. <laughs> tea fragrances are awesome. They're really hard to find, especially the ones that actually last on skin, um, mm -hmm. because they typically are more delicate fragrances, but this one seems like it has a little bit of girth to it. It's very dark. Black tea, pretty much, <laughs> with a little bit of lemon in it. I like it. I do, too. That's this is real, real nice. Really nice. <laughs> oh, man. 
usually I'm like, usually when I smell fragrances with that type of tea in it, there's like something spicy in it um, that kind of like throws it off for me. But this one is very, very clean for okay. black tea. Um, it's herbal. It's citric, um, citrusy. It, it's not overly spiced. It doesn't have much spice at all. And it's very, very calming. I, I like the way that smells. I can imagine that being very relaxing to actually wear and experience. So the moment of truth. Let's see what his four to one is and what my four to one is. Okay, four, three, two, one. So number four would probably be Nitro Noir. Um, well. Smells really, really good. Like the way it smells. Um, I just would prefer it on someone else other than my skin, okay. personally. Number three would be Santal Sky. Um, very, very, very good dry sandalwood fragrance. Um, I just prefer my sandalwood a little more creamy, but I love the way that smells. This one is tough between one and two because I really dig Tanae and Flirt and I really dig Sunday <laughs> Brunch. Um, but if I were to choose based on my own specific taste and um, also what I own already, I would probably go with 10 a.m. Flirt as my number two. And my number one would probably have to be Sunday Branche. Man, this is beautiful. And it's very, very, very unique. It doesn't remind me of anything else. And that's probably why I would make this number one. Because to me, it's one of the most original of the collection. My yeah. turn. Yes. Four to one. Santal Sky would be my fourth mm -hmm. favorite. My third favorite is, oh man, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's tough. wow, four is Santal Sky. Tenny and Flirt will be number three. Mm. Nitro Noir will be number two, but easily could be so close of mm -hmm. one another and definitely my favorite is this sunday brunch yeah it's a tea that's different from other teas that i've smelled yeah and quite enjoyable very very much so like i would abuse that in the fall summer and spring absolutely really nice and it's like a really it's like it's a dark tea fragrance that you can wear in the evening or the daytime insane fragrance in my opinion e simply put sense always a pleasure to work with you thanks so much for sharing your anytime, thoughts anytime my dude anytime and uh Thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys love this guy. I know you do. <laughs> you always let me know in the comments. For you guys, we have a giveaway thanks to the generosity of Kieran NYC. Nice. One of you guys can pick one bottle of your choice, any one of these four. This is US only. I'm sorry. So all you have to do to enter is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Subscribe to Simply Put Sense. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on the reviews, the content giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next review.